Hi guys! So I found online lots of gender predictions, old wife, wife's tales and um, I thought it would be fun to share with you what were our predictions. Obviously now that we are almost 24 weeks, we know the gender, <laughs> uh, but I will tell you that at the end of the video. Enjoy! So um, I created a board um, say, stating one boys, one girls. So first thing is that if you carry in front, it's probably a boy, but if you are carrying wide, it's a girl. I think I'm carrying pretty up front. Obviously I'm putting on weight everywhere, but yeah, I would say that. So one point for boys. Beautiful. <laughs> um, if you were not really sick or if you are not really sick in your first trimester then it's a boy and if you do are really sick it's a girl I think I was pretty sick so I would say it's a girl if your hormones are raging and you are super moody it's probably a girl and uh, if you are pretty calm and chill, <laughs> it's a boy. So I've been pretty fine. Obviously, sometimes I do have mood swings and I'm crying, just bursting into tears out of nothing. But still, I think I'm pretty calm. So it's point for boy, or boys in our case. If your skin is dry, especially on your hands, it's boys. If it's pretty normal, it's girls. My hands were cracking in the first trimester, even though I haven't changed soap or I was moisturizing them just the same. So it's definitely point for boys. If you tend to sleep on your left side, it's boys. If you tend to sleep on your right side, it's girls. I tend to sleep on my right side. Even though I always slept on my left side. <laughs> if your feet are very cold, it's girls. If they are normal, it's boys. My feet before pregnancy used to be very cold and now they are warm, so it's definitely point for boys. If a daddy-to-be is gaining weight, it means it's boys. If he's losing or maintaining his weight, it means it's girls. I have to say, I have to tell you in a secret, that uh, my husband is putting a little bit on weight. So, point for boys. If the heart rate is below 140, it's boys. If it's above 140 it's girls with the heart rate it's pretty difficult to say because uh, in the first trimester the heart and second trimester the heart rate changes pretty pretty much but in the first ultrasound the heart rate was uh, below 140 which means it was boys uh, next one is probably the the most popular uh, old wife's tale, uh, which is if you crave salty or sour things, it's boy um, And if you crave sweets, it's a girl. I've been craving salty and And sour things a lot. So point for boys If you are having headaches, it's a boy. If you're not having headaches, it's a girl I've been having headaches and even migraines even though before pregnancy I had no headaches whatsoever. Boys. Um, if your chest seems pretty normal, it's point for boys. Uh, if your ch chest changed tremendously, it's point for girls. And I guess as every pregnant lady's chest, mine has changed a lot. So it's point for girls. Um, if 
hair on your legs grow in a normal pace, it's point for boys. If they grow more than normal, it's point for girls. Mine have been growing pretty normal. So, point for boys. So, as you can see, nine points for boys and three points for girls. And believe me or not, but before knowing the gender, the result was exactly the same. So I am not biased in any way right now, even though we know the gender. So obviously, two boys. Old wives tales work. <laughs> Thank you for watching today. See you in the next video. Bye.